I really hate coming downstairs in the morning and seeing a bunch of junk from last night that we didn't clean up. I started school on January 6th. The last time that I took full-time course load, I was still living at home. I didn't even do my own laundry. <laughs> so I had nothing else to worry about except school. Uh, this time I have a job. I have a house. I have two humans, two animals to care for. It's it's proving a challenge. It's only been, you know, almost two weeks, but it's it's proving to be a challenge for me. As you just saw, my kitchen's not getting clean daily. I am still in a bathrobe and a towel because I haven't been doing laundry <laughs> on a daily basis either and I'm behind on the reading for school. I'm just I need to do better time management. So I'm just going to record throughout my day today and maybe we can figure out where I can make some time to do the stuff that I should be doing. I'm supposed to be to work at 7, which means I should have left here one minute ago. I don't have time to make a proper breakfast, so I'm just having a protein shake. It's 11.05. I just got off work and I've got just about one hour before I have to leave to go to my chemistry lab. So I'm heading home. I'm going to change out of my work clothes and grab a bite to eat. Instead of throwing my cl work clothes in the laundry hamper, I'm going to go ahead and start a load of wash because we really need to get a handle on this situation over here. My backpack is ready to go. I've got about 15 minutes before I have to go, so I'm going to eat my lunch, which is a salad, some zucchini and mushrooms with cheese, and some cantaloupe while I uh, balance the checkbook and see if any bills need to be paid today. I overestimated a little bit how much I could get done in those 15 minutes. <laughs> I only had a couple of pieces of my cantaloupe and put the rest back in the fridge and I only balanced my checkbook. I didn't get to um, see if there are any bills that need paying and paying them and that kind of stuff. That's all right. On my way to school, I've got a Red Bull here, which is the first caffeine that I'm taking for today. I purposefully did not make coffee or anything for myself this morning because I'm having a heck of a time in my chemistry class. I Even if I have a Red Bull, I am falling asleep, you know, trying really, really hard not to fall asleep. Um, so I thought maybe today, if I didn't have any caffeine in the morning, all I've had is water, then now that I'm having a Red Bull right now before class, it might actually affect me enough to keep me awake. That was the first chemistry class that I've had where I did not really have to constantly concentrate on keeping my eyes open. Um, until the very, very end after the lab, when I was just trying to read the chapters, that's when I started to feel a little bit droopy. So I think it helps that it was a lab. So we were up and actually doing things. But we did that with the last lab too and I still felt super tired so I think it really did help a lot that I didn't have any caffeine this morning until after work before my class. Now it's about 20 minutes to 4. I just got home. Basically I'm picking up my husband at four o'clock we leave to go back to the college because his class starts at 4 30 i think so i've got about 20 minutes great news we don't have to leave till 4 30 so that gives me an extra half hour to take a nap or finish what i started earlier 
I don't know. Oh, excuse me. See, I'm obviously starting to get really droopy. I think I should probably make some coffee. While my husband is at his class, I'm going to sit here and study for our next class because we have a test and I'm so not ready. It's 8.35. We are home early. We normally don't get home till about 8.45 because our class goes to 8.30. But today we had a test, so we got to leave whenever the test was done and we were done early. This is good because we're going to eat dinner. My honey bunny has prepped it for us. Say hi, Gabriel. Hi. <laughs> um, and then I have homework to do for a different class. As you can see, my desk area <laughs> has also really, really suffered. This was cleaned off this weekend. And so was this, but... During the week, I seem to just be too tired to care. I'm hoping to ease that habit by putting my books away on the shelf that we cleared for our school books. I think if I do that just every time I come home from class, like I should, if I'm not actually doing work with that stuff, I need to put it away. I'm waiting for the bathroom to go potty before dinner. So I'm going to go ahead and start another load while I'm waiting for the bathroom. Especially since everybody today complained that they are out of white socks. Dinner is salad and beef and broccoli. The dishwasher is running! The kitchen is still kind of a mess. But there is no stack of dirty dishes. Yay! I got one question wrong. Brought my grade all the way down in 87. That's okay. That's not too bad. And it is definitely past my bedtime. So that was my Thursday. Did you guys notice one major thing that was missing? exercise I didn't even fit in my eight minute typo what the heck there were a couple of times that I could have um, probably when I came home um, from class before my husband and I left again that was what was that like a, a little less than an hour I probably could have fit it in there I was so tired though or maybe in the morning, if I had not had to take a shower and wait for my laundry to get done, I might have been able to do it in the morning before I went to work. Um, yeah. Well, regardless, it was honestly still the most successful day that I've had since I started school. I don't know if it's because I was videotaping all day and that kind of motivated me a little bit more to do stuff <laughs> um, or if it's most likely because uh, it was almost two weeks into school so I think I was finally getting a little bit of uh, rhythm going and I set my alarm half hour later. Normally, I like to get up at 5 o'clock because I'm a slow waker-upper. You know, I don't like to turn the lights on right away. I don't like any noise. I, and at 5 in the morning, everybody else is asleep. The house is nice and quiet, and I can wake up at my own pace. But when I'm not getting done with my homework till 11 o'clock at night, that might be a little bit too early. I might not be getting quite enough sleep. Um... So I'm gonna just start getting up at 5.30. That still gives me an hour between getting up and having to leave the house at 6.30. So I think that should be fine. I think another thing that would help me is to do what I can the night before. Like instead of taking a shower in the morning, I'm gonna shower at night and instead of 
packing my bag when I get home from work before I go to school. If I pack it the night before or before I go to bed, then that's one less thing I have to do. I also really liked going into the building and sitting at the desk and studying while my husband had his class before our class. That helped me not feel so behind. Even though I was technically catching up, it was stuff that I should have done already. Last time I just sat in the car because I was too tired to do anything. So I think that will really help with me not falling behind. Which would be great because if I can keep up and not have to catch up over the weekend, then I can actually use the weekends to do a real, like a focused, actual, intense kind of workout since that's proving a little difficult to do during the week. Definitely going to keep holding off on the caffeine during the day until after work before class. Yeah, that's about all I can think of right now. If you guys see anything else or have any other suggestions, please let me know. I really do appreciate any feedback you guys have. I hope you guys are doing well.